in the previous part we isolated the stations affecting the sub-basins in the study area basin we took each sub-basin and the stations affecting it separately in a certain color as these stations affect the sub-basin W1200 and we calculated the ratio of influencing area that the station contributes to the sub-basin and the sum of these ratios for each sub-basin must be equal to 1 as we see in this part we will calculate the average precipitation by the Thiessen polygons method for each sub-basin separately for example for sub-basin W1200 we will find the average precipitation in this sub-basin due to influencing the stations that affecting this sub-basin with knowing the ratios of influencing area that the stations contribute to the sub-basin and as follows we go to the sheet of sub-basin W1200 and in the first line and the first column we type date then in the next column we type the names of the influencing stations that affecting this sub-basin as we see then in the next line we type the ratios of influencing area that the stations contribute to the sub-basin as we see then we check the sum of these ratios for this sub-basin in the second line which must be equal to 1 as we see
Now to calculate the average precipitation in this sub-basin of the study area basin by the Thiessen polygons method, we enter the daily precipitation data for each of these stations. The daily precipitation data for each of these stations exists in the desktop inside the file that contains the daily weather data for the study area from the global weather data for SWAT. And the daily weather data in this file exists in the Excel files with the CSV extension. In order to obtain the daily precipitation data for the first station in this sub basin we copy the name of the first station then we go to the to the this to this file that contains the daily weather data for the study area from the global weather data for SWAT and in it we go to the search field and we paste the station name and we delete the letter P from the name then we make a search then the Excel file with the CSV extension of the weather data for the first station appears then we open it And in it, we go to the precipitation field. Then we activate the daily precipitation data for this, for the first station in this field. Then we copy them Then we go to the sheet of sub-basin W1200 And we paste the data under the first station Then In the date field we type the date in days which starts from 1 January 2000 and as we see
then we enter the daily precipitation data for the rest of the stations and this sub basin by the same way as we see
Now, after entering the daily precipitation data for each of these stations and finding the ratios of influencing area that the stations contribute to this subbasin, we calculate the average precipitation in this subbasin W1200 by the Thiessen polygons method. So, in the next column, we type IPT-W1200 or average precipitation by TCM polygon method for the subbasin W1200 and 200 and to calculate the average precipitation we go to the next line and we type equal the value of the precipitation for the first station in the first day Multiply the ratio of influencing area that the station contributes to the subbasin, which is 0.63884481. Plus the value of the station for the second station in the same day. Multiply the ratio of influencing area that the station contributes to the subbasin, which is 0 0.00823904. Then a plus and so on for the rest of the stations as we see
by that we have obtained the average precipitation in this subbasin W1200 by the Thiessen polygons method. And we will use these values of the average appreciation by the Thiessen polygons method as entries in the HEC HMS program. And to use these values of the average precipitation as entries in the HEC HMS program, it must be either enter by hand or transform to the DSS extension. And to do so, we use the HEC DSS a program We have calculated the average precipitation for the rest of the subbasins by the Thiessen polygons method by the same way and the results are as we see here for the rest of the subbasins in the study area basin. And the, in the next part, we will transform this average precipitation data for the sub-basins in the study area basin to data with the DSS extension to use them as entries in the HEC HMS program. Then we save the calculations by pressing on save.